Hi everyone, this is uh, Mr. Dave, and for this video I'll be going through and actually doing a first setup of the Motion software. Uh, in some of the previous videos I had gone through kind of the install process, and this is going to go through and actually set up the camera for the first time. So we'll start with actually heading off to the Motion homepage. And going to our documentation and opening up the configuration. And at the top of this, it actually indicates a very basic setup uh, in order to get motion up and running for the very first time before you delve into any of the advanced parameters. So for the first setup, uh, what we're going to be doing is actually setting up a network camera and um, then going through and actually in the configuration file and uh, stream going for that so that uh, we can actually see that the camera is up and going. So for a network camera, first thing we're going to be doing is actually finding information about the camera and then we'll specify it within this netcam URL. Motion does provide uh, the option for many different types of camera and the most common one these days is the RTSP uh, camera and that's actually more of a protocol of how it is actually sending pictures uh, through the network um, for other software to pick it up so that's actually a very common one and normally when you're purchasing a camera you'd want to make sure that it's listed somewhere uh, as part of its specifications Motion also can provide a RTMP, and there's also various other options under the NetCam URL for an HTTP uh, cam a camera that's providing an HTTP stream. But the one we'll be doing is an RTSP. Um, you'll get that uh, connection string from either the manufacturer's documentation um, or via a search engine uh, looking around on the web. Uh, there's lots of the uh, connection stream that are actually posted out there. Once you have that connection string, first thing you're going to want to do is actually test it using uh, a set of software that's uh, part of FFmpeg and using the FFplay. So that would actually normally be provided by the uh, FFmpeg uh, package. And uh, in the previous steps of installing Motion, it will actually install that for you. So it should install it for you. If not, then do a sudo apt get install FFmpeg associated with it. Oh, messed that up. So it's already installed. So we're actually going to try out our connection string to make sure that FF Play can actually uh, open the camera um, and it looks okay. So it does open up and play, which is what we want to see. So that actually means that the connection string is good, and that's actually what we'll be using uh, within the Motion software. Now, when we installed Motion, we took all of the defaults, and by default, the configuration file is off in the etc. Motion directory. So we need to edit that particular file, that particular configuration file, and it's in this etc. motion directory there. And since it it is actually protected there, so you have to use sudo in order to, ac to access and revise it.
So this is the default uh, configuration file that's actually provided by Motion. Unlike previous versions of Motion, this actually now only includes a subset of the parameters in order to get uh, up and running. And what we're looking for in here is the net cam URL parameter. And that's where we're actually going to be specifying the uh, connection string for the camera. So we'll go back over to our terminal here and we find that this particular parameter has been listed in the default. So we'll actually put in our connection string. And this connection string is obviously unique to my computer and my network and my camera. Yours will be different. So this is it, it will be different for your camera. So we'll hit Control X to save. Yes. And then we will start up motion and see whether it connects up to the camera and whether there's any errors associated with it. So we can see that it actually did connect up to the camera. It did provide a couple of warnings associated with the camera dimensions that I normally like to have cleared up. So I'll press Control C and note that the camera is sending images in 320 by 240 as the dimensions. So we can actually go down and see if we can find the width is 320 by 240. Control X, save, and then start motion again. And we see that it's connecting up. Don't have any particular errors or warning messages associated with it. So it's good that it's actually started up. Next, we'll make sure that uh, we have a target directory and a web stream um, enabled because I'd like to be able to go out to use a web browser in order to actually view the configuration in the uh, stream images that's actually being provided. Go down, we'll see that target directory has not been specified so we'll actually send it into a directory called home Dave cam one this is actually where it's going to save all the images uh, that are actually produced um, by motion um, as well as any movies and then further down we'll actually look for what's called the web control in the web in the stream so the web control port has been defaulted to 8080 which means that it is available uh, the local host has been specified as on which means that you can only see the web control when you are on the particular computer and the stream port which is the stream of images being provided by motion is going to be sent out on port 8081 so that default is fine associated with it. So we've specified the target directory. We're enabling the web stream um, in the stream port. And right now we're going to be only be looking at this particular one on this computer. So we can leave the local host specified on. And then we'll, I'm going to make an adjustment to the web control farms. All of these parameters are documented within uh, the motion guide here. So you can look at this. Uh, let's actually take a look at the web control parms. Limits the number of parameters that you can actually see on the web control page. 
and I'm only going to want to actually look at the limited list of parameters. I'm not going to want to be able to actually see all of the parameters available within motion, including all of the passwords and on commands. So for the web control parms, we'll actually specify that as option one. Save. And then we can start it up. That's connected up to the particular camera. So we can go over to a new tab and specify local host. 8080 is the web control port. And we see that it actually does come up with. Uh, the motion web page as well as the preview of the image stream. If you need to look at just the stream, you can specify the exact port up there, or as an alternative, if you're on the web control port, you can actually just click on this particular one. So that actually starts up. We have the camera that's up, it's running, we have basic image going um, and working on this here and then later we can actually start to make adjustments for the motion detection as well as some of the image processing and how to actually execute scripts, save pictures or create movies associated with it which will be in a different video. So that's basically a initial setup uh, using a network camera. Um, the V4L2 devices use the video device associated with it of the video device there. The Pi camera sets can be set up using two different methods. It can come through as a V4L2 device or you can use what's called the MMAL uh, package, but that's only if you actually install from our release dev packages associated with it. And I'll show how to uh, set that up in a different video. Thanks.